Hello gamers, Bat here, and welcome back to another episode of Vintage Story. Today we have a new book to read, and this one is Dimitri's Notes, 2 out of 5. These are the findings of Dimitri Arvo regarding the natural order of Side Hill University. That Falx boy came to visit today. Troublesome. If it were my decision, I would have sent him on his way without even a glance into our library. But the rector would have none of it. It seems fear of the boy's father has spread throughout the academy. Unbelievable. To that, to think that an upstart sellsword who butchered his way into nobility could startle and cow his betters into submission. Perhaps I should not be surprised. It is foolishness, however, the house of Ingmar, Falx, should never be welcomed into our institutions. We of the finer bloodlines should not give way to the masses. They may win the emperor's favor with conquered cities and burning fields, but we will always have his ear with our superior acumen and grace. It is a birthright we risk depriving ourselves of. Should the lowborn be given proper education? I don't know. I do believe so. Let's, uh, let's get this guy put on a shelf, and uh, let's maybe leave that for something else. We'll put our book here. So it's been a while since we've uh, been back into the library and uh, did anything here. There is one thing I forgot I installed, which was more rails. So in here we can uh, railing. Here we go. So we have all of this railing that we can do. And uh, I'll get this put into these edge pieces here, and maybe we can do these back pieces and still have that there. Um, but that'll be in time. I've been a little bit busy. I have um, haven't had time to record. I've moved three more bodies into my house. Um, so all of our schedules have been kind of... Uh, hectic, we've got school, we've got work, you know, and uh, I'm in the process of also moving my recording into my own bedroom for a little bit more privacy. Um, but in the meantime that I've been playing, I've done some things. So here we have sand going into a chute, which is just going back into this room here. I've been on the battle for gold. Um, I did end up getting enough, but not by this method. This is the sluice option, and you can just uh, shoot that down into a sluice that will hopper down into the chest. And we've got two gold here now, but I have only probably got maybe two or three gold previously out of all of this, and there was six or so stacks of items or um, of sand to process and there's only a stack left. I have everything made for our new armor guys. I have been busy and preparing some things. All this iron that we have prepared for these I made an extra 16 iron here for another steel process and then uh, one more tool each um, so we can get these guys going at least looks like we've got a thunderstorm on beautiful all right and then now we have our armor pieces and to remember what goes with what let's grab it all and uh, let's let's head out of this room shall we it's a little noisy um, let's see, I have finished out some pillars, so we had our first one back there. I have added in all of them into here as well, and they go all the way up, and they go all the way to the back here as well. These torches, I have chiseled a little, um, just a little metal guard. We'll call it metal, it's, it's chert, polished chert. And uh, it acts as uh, blocking the flames. It just looks better, in my opinion, that they're not going to look like they're burning down my wood. Um, these ones still over here do need it. See how the fire goes up a little bit versus this one here? So I'll do the same thing with this over to here as well. We've got our metal here. 
Let's see, this one has already been done once, so we need to do this one. Which is here. Here. Let's get all these down here. There we go. And then a gold. And not damaged anymore. Then let's go ahead and do this one. And that is four chain. Two cloth and one golden chain. There we go. Now we have the damaged one. So this one will go into this one now. So that's correct. We'll do four here. And two here. There we go. Beautiful. And then I think this one may needed some still. Let's uh, do a little look at that. Nope, just chain. Beautiful. Okay, damaged. And then just plate, maybe. Let's look into that one. So it's three plates, one gold. I had three, one gold plate. We need one more. That's a bummer. And one more uh, iron plate. But. That is still a beautiful start here. So we could just uh, place that back and we will wait for that. So let's go put these guys down. We're not done yet. These are for arrows. These are our old one. Alright, so we'll wait for that. I'm, I'm one shy and we have two gold here let's just smash this down three so we got five six seven so not there yet we need another 13 more just for one ingot and then we'll have it all right and then we've got down here we have our uh, mill going away. It's already started or finished all the flax. It is on to some limestone here. I did end up making a door here, and all I did was just make a uh, step here, so I didn't have to change any of this, which is good. The kitchen has been pampered a little bit as well. I just moved this wall here out more, and uh, it's been working pretty good. This has kind of just been our little food storage area here. This will be where we will um, cook food on and there will be a, uh, a HUD up there. I have gone ahead and also extended this tower up. So it goes up pretty high. This is the armory. And it used to only go up to about right here. And it has now gone all the way up to here. So... It's pretty cool and then maybe we'll do one on that side as well and we can bridge these two together I think that would be pretty cool um, so up here it's almost all complete with the stairs um, the walls is completed more than anything um, out front the kitchen we have some things going on down here it's big tower guys so, um, let's see, in here we have, we have our, our mill station, and then these are all the cooked foods I already had, and then this is where we're going to have our bread making area, this is all fresh produce. I went and gathered a bunch of mushrooms, um, cause that's probably what we're gonna survive on, maybe through the winter it is coming real fast we have gathered a bunch of meat as well and then out front here this has been changed up i've added in some more andesite sand and in here what we're also going to do is i'm going to level this out into the water from here so these blocks will uh will get chiseled down and then we'll actually use the planer instead and this will go down and then we can add in like a curve and yada yada and then eventually it will get waterlogged as well and we'll 
probably do that with actually a lot of this so I can gradient the uh, terrain here. So I think that will be pretty cool. Our greenhouse is doing very well. I don't know if I explained this came out of the uh, the tombstone area that was hidden back there. I've uh, taken that out. But in here, let's get this out of my hand. I don't like to accidentally chisel. We do have our greenhouse effect. So what I did was go into creative. I took a snapshot, looked at it, and we didn't have these two layers of full glass here. So I think it was a uh, just a 50-50 needed to be higher or lower for this type of build, but the 14 by 7, it does work. Um, it does not have to be a 7 by 7 as long as I don't know why. Um, changing out these, I think there was like 8 blocks here, 1, 2, 3, 4, yeah, these 8 blocks right here were half slabs instead. And I just changed them to full blocks, so if you did... Um, copy this build and it's not working for you this is what I changed is these areas right here and I made sure that these three blocks were also here because on that side it was not they were not here but this side it was um, so I'm not sure if that mattered or not we'll check this side too yep 5% greenhouse beautiful and they are just chumming along doing very well all of our plants have grown up now Except for this. Oh, it did. It, we just got a small one. That's a bummer. I wonder if it's because it's in that spot there. Maybe we can get a bigger one if we move it. Um, I'm just going to get a, uh, a bunch more building done for you guys. Um, we have a lot to do that I would like to. Uh, but in here, I have expanded this area. So this comes off of the kitchen area. We have the stairs. In here we explained we'll make shelving and stuff in there and chisel our own stuff. I'm going to push this design back one more level. So we have this big open room here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to tunnel one side. So we'll have this as a tunnel, like a half tunnel. And I'm going to push it all the way down to the blacksmith. And then from the blacksmith, it can come down this way. And this will be where we will have our charcoal pits. And we will have all of that underground. And so let me get started with that. And I will see you guys in a bit. That out.
All right, guys, welcome back. We finally have our hallway down here going pretty well. Um, so I've decided to come out this way as well, and this will lead out to where that little pond was out here in the back of our area. Um, so we had this pond water and stuff out here, so I wanted to go as far as that way. So we still have a little bit to go. And then over here we've made this corridor and I've finally touched it except for I'm missing more of these aged granite bricks for right here to go back into there. And then I did the same thing over to here and then I also mimicked this corner piece as well right here and this will lead up into our blacksmith area. So from here I wanted to go down into getting charcoal. And so I thought it would be pretty cool to maybe knock a hole right here and do a quadrant right here of charcoal in this spot right here and then do another one eventually just for symmetry and just to do it. One of these will be big enough. This is a 6 by 6 we will have probably. Because I'll make it that, well, it'll be even less than that inside. And we might even change these out for glass so that we can see the um, like tubes filled up with charcoal. And I think that would be pretty cool. There is still lots to do. I want to take this entire hallway all the way to the other end of the ruin over here and have another like just little hallway in the other side on that direction going over to the leather making and dyeing area and then up here i wanted to do some changes if i can enter correctly um, these, I don't want these crates anymore. I want to do the better crates, because they're better. And, uh, let's get to ripping and moving these all out and putting in the new ones so that we can see the stones that we have hiding in there. And, uh, Crazy Legs almost died earlier, you guys. Like, I absolutely couldn't believe it. Like, I heard one and he was fighting it. And I figured he was alright, he could take on one. And then another one, I heard him fighting even more. So I had to rush up here and make sure that he was okay. And man, he was not doing too good. So I will catch you guys in just a moment. Alright, that should do it guys, and I do think that that is all that I have for you today, so don't forget to like and subscribe today and in the future, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye! Bad out.